little bit of the, the intro that you hear going on. Um, so I'll teach the whole thing. And um, this is kind of close to what's happening. Not exactly, it doesn't hit every single note, but it gets the general ideas and, and the notes, and I think it's in the right tuning and everything. So let's start with the tuning. Tuning's a weird tuning, uh, as all of his songs, all weird tunings. So the tuning is C, G, C, G, G, C. And then I'm capoed on the, the second fret here. So it's all in that tuning. One, one more time, C, G, C, G, G, C. And then capoed on two. All right, so next, um, let's just get right into that, that little pattern. So I'm out on the fifth fret relative to the capo. Um, it's overall the seventh fret on that fifth string. And I'm going. Now, my strumming pattern, my picking pattern is thumb one, thumb two, thumb one, thumb two, thumb one, thumb two. Here's one of those parts where it's kind of kind of close to what's happening. Not exactly what he's doing. Uh, I worked on it for a while. I couldn't quite get all his nuances. But this kind of gets you close to what's happening. So I'm going thumb one, thumb two, thumb one, thumb two. I'm just doing that kind of throughout for all the different ones. So I'm on the fifth fret here. Hangs there for a while. Then it, it slides from five to seven on this uh, fifth string. Hangs there for a while. It slides from seven to eight. Um, hangs there for a while. relative to the capo. Overall this is the 14th fret, this is the 12th fret, and then I'm going uh, from the 5th string to the 4th string, 5th string, 5th string again, to the still 5th string there, and then barring everything on the 12th fret overall, 10th fret relative to the capo. Then I'm back to that, that pattern, thumb one, thumb two, thumb one, thumb two, thumb one, thumb two, right back to this pattern from the 10, 12th, and then 5th string, 4th string, 5th string, 5th string, 4th string, oh wait, 5th string, 5th string, 4th string, 5th string, 5th string, still on the 5th string there, and then overall I'm at the 10th fret, um, it's 8th relative to the capo. Back to that pattern. That gets you through the verse part. Um, all right, next we have uh, kind of a pre-chorus. Good. Um, so that part um, at three relative to the capo, and I'm playing really about those six, fifth, and fourth. I'm just kind of barring it. Two, 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 and then five on the first string, eight on the second string, and then I'm going first, second, third, first, second, third, first, second, third, first, second, third. So one more time for the pre-chorus. Three, two, getting together your five and eight. All right, that gets us into the chorus. Um, chorus kind of sounds like this. It goes from eight, eight, eight on the uh, sixth, fifth, and fourth. I'm barring it again. Three. Um, and then. Good, so all, over, all together, eight. Eight. Threes. Then these guys go up to ten, uh, the twelfth fret overall, 
and uh, I'm on the the third and fourth string, and then I'm playing open on the sixth. twice in the chorus, uh, it goes So that gets us through everything except for the solo part. Uh, solo part is some crazy stuff going on, so we're, we're just going to simplify that out. Um, so kind of chords you can kind of work with for that are zero. tricky stuff. Uh, it takes some work to kind of get it down and the, the magic tuning is super important as well. Hope it helped. Thanks for watching. See ya.